In this demonstration, I'll be showing the integration between Esri ArcGIS products and Small World using the SAGE software FME Esri Interop extension. The extension, once loaded, can be enabled in the extensions dialog, FME extension for ArcGIS. When it is enabled, I then see FME connections available to me within the Arc catalog environment. Clicking on Add FME Connection allows me to load a data from any of the FME supported sources. In this case, I'm using the SPS plugin for Esri extension. I've also predefined a coordinate system for my source small world database to be the British National Grid in meters. And I define a similar setting within the Esri environment such that it knows the projection of the source data. Clicking on parameters, I now see some familiar options to allow me to define the data to retrieve, as well as some new ones. My database connections is composed of a server name, a service, a user and a password. User and password are optional. In this case, I will go with the default settings. For constraints, I will specify the, no the name of the tables to retrieve. And currently, I will use the default alternative, which is the top alternative. And I'll use the default world, which is world 00. zero. Specifying the table list, I can now define individual features to retrieve from small world. Within the Esri Interop environment, features are specified by database, table, and geometry name. So I'll specify town, coverage, hotel, location, road, center line, and finally park. These are the four feature classes I wish to retrieve. If I pressed OK at this point, it would pull all data from the small world database. In a small database, that would be acceptable, but in a large database, it would take a long time and may not be necessary. So to res restrict the amount of data that I'm retrieving, I can specify a retrieval bounds. I can either specify a bounding box, or the option I'll be use today is a table and predicate. If I select option three, I can now specify the name of the table, in my case town, and then a simple predicate in SQL terms, which can be converted into a small world predicate to restrict the data that's retrieved. Name equals So my retrieval set will now be defined of the features up here, clipped by records in the town table where the name is equal to Cambridge. If I hit OK, hit OK again, I now have my features available to me. At any time within the art catalog environment, I can click on a feature see its attributes. Having defined the connection set, I can then open up ArcGIS and actually look at the data specifically. So if I open ArcMap, and now I elect to pull in the data, I can specify from a series of connections. In this case, I'll be using the connection one, Spatial Biz, select all of the features, and pull them all in. Again, I can zoom in, I can query the data here. I can also specify to retrieve properties from the table. I can specify different symbologies, see the list of fields available, define an additional query which can be used to filter the data locally, plus all other standard features and capabilities of layers. When the data is part of a small world connection though, I'm still not able to edit it directly. If I wish to edit this data, I need to take it and extract it into an Esri Geo personal geo database where I can make changes against it. There are a number of ways of doing this using FME tools. One way though is to specify the data export data option. 
to the export option, specify the name of the layer, all features will be retrieved, specify the name of a feature class and a personal geo database into which to store the data. If I add the data back in, I now have a series of roads. These features are all editable. The make changes I make to these could be saved and then sent back to Small World using the FME SV extension.